So this is your soldering station. Today we're going to be using um, solder that has tin, silver, and copper. Um, so it's it's not a lead-based solder. So I'm just going to start here. If the soldering iron's not hot enough for you, you just turn crank it up um, between our rings. You want safety glasses on. Okay. Woo! <laughs> so I'm just gonna add water, water to the sponge here. Um, and then the first thing you're gonna do is clean off your soldering iron. So make sure the tip is nice and shiny. Um, so you want to come in at an angle so that you're melting some of the solder onto this joint. So I'm gonna come in on the side. I'm trying to get this joint right here. So. So I touch the I touch the metal to the soldering iron a little bit. If it doesn't start melting, that means my soldering iron isn't hot enough. And then you're gonna touch the soldering iron to the pin, and then you're going to go in with the solder. And then it's going to melt, and you're gonna push the solder into the pin. So you want a little bit of material on your thing to make sure this is hot enough, and then you're gonna go in. At a joint, this is what you're going for just enough material to form like the Hershey's Kisses kind of thing. Somewhere between this one and this one is what you're going for. So, these are examples of actually bad joints here. This is not fully filled, not fully filled, so it's going to create you know electrical issues. So, you want a fully formed, a fully formed, um, like, like the whole pen needs to be filled up. Okay. What you're going for here is you're going to go for trying to heat up the, the joint. So hold the soldering uh, tip to the joint and then you're going to push the solder into the joint. I think this side is a little harder to reach. The side that's down there. Uh -huh. You see how there's like gaps down there? Yeah, yeah. So you just go back in with your soldering tip. And you just, again, let the soldering iron do the job. So don't go back in with solder. If there's already too much solder there, oh, okay. you just go back in with the soldering iron. And, and you, just it it, you just let it whip and oh. melt, and then you pull out. You see on, the, on this printed circuit board, they're supposed to all be connected along the same row, right? And what you've effectively done is created a pin, or you've just, you know, soldered a pin together. And so I'm gonna have what I'm gonna have you do is just do a quick continuity test to see if these two pins are connected. Okay. Do so you wanna try like any One two? One of these, yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. Row A and row B. These two. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Got sounds yeah. there and sounds there. Okay. So this is helpful because when you're when you have an electrical circuit and you don't want to accidentally short something, like you accidentally created a connection between two things.